We go day one of our walking journal. Let's see how we go there. Yeah? We're on the footpath from Goonhaven to Parenthall. Why is it so many people go through their life not taking everything around them in? Look at these beautiful trees, how old they are. The rain falling and making everything alive. The smell here is amazing, of grass and soil. Most people that are not at work are stuck in their houses looking at their phones and their tablets rather than being out in nature feeling alive The one thing about the bad weather here in UK is people tend to stay in so you get these sort of walks totally on your own. To get away from all the problems of the world We just heard here in the UK about the attempt on Trump. And I stop and think, why? Because somebody disagrees. They think it's okay to shoot or kill somebody. And it's no better here in this country where people with 
different views feel they've got the upper hand and the higher ground and wish violence on those that don't agree with them the world's in a bad way but we can turn it around it's just down to every individual person to make a stand against it This is a relatively new path they've put in, cycle path, shared footpath, which means you no longer have to go along all the dangerous roads for the tourists flying around to get from A to B. Much more pleasant. years ago I learned to ride a motorbike in my 60s and it's so easy to think you're getting out and about on your bike and then it dawned on me after watching a video you need to move your body and I live in one of the most beautiful areas on this planet down in Cornwall and there's no excuse not to. That's where that lethargy comes in. I'm only aiming to do 30 minutes today, but I'd like to build that up eventually to walk in an hour, hour and a half a day. If you don't move your body, you're inevitably going to fall with something. How beautiful is this? Even on a grey British summer's day, Stunningly beautiful. Clue what that is. Now, do I continue on the path or do I go down the stairs? I think we'll go on the path for now.
there's the sign. And there's another one of these weird platforms. If anybody knows what it is, can you let me know? This is the world I want to live in. No one around. Got it all to myself. No manic tourists all arguing with each other. And I know I'm a hypocrite because I go away and I'm the tourist. But here down in Cornwall, they've gone beyond stupid now. That's a hell of a house down there. I don't know if you can see it amongst the trees. Massive. Makes you wonder why some areas are just barren like this. We've got it again here. More of these weird podiums. I don't walk a lot, my legs are already starting to ache. Look at this, real, real nature. Give it a few more minutes this way and then I'll turn around and start back the other way. The trouble is with paths like this, you wonder what's around the next corner so you want to keep going and then you end up going much further than you intended to. But just one more corner, we'll have a look, one more corner. We're going to encounter some horses. 
That's a silly statement really, isn't it? It's obviously it was haunted. And just another corner and another straight bit. I'm hoping the camera is picking up the rain sound, it's absolutely beautiful. One more corner. I must be getting near the beach here, it's just full of sand. Now I've got to go at least to the bridge and have a look. It's a weird place to have that. Maybe I like coming through here, but this never I don't think this used to be a proper path. Unless it was just a dirt track or something and they turned it into the proper path. over the wall is the question. Can you imagine what Cornwall would have been like, or anywhere in the country, in the days of just halting carts, no traffic noise, just clip-clopping along. Yeah, look, 1903 this one. Let's have a look over the wall. I'll tell you this side first. You're going to see better than me because I can't see over it. Just barren. What about this side? Same again, but how beautiful. Oh, there are gates here. Oh no, they're not. They're just railings to stop you falling. My oh, god, that's a fall. Beautiful. Right, let's turn around and start heading back. This can be my point. To go past next time. Another house nestling up at the top. Nature in all its glory, dancing in the rain. This is when you realise how far you've walked now when you turn around. I don't do a lot of walking, so for those of you that walk all the time, this is just a drop in the ocean, but we'll start somewhere.
it's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's rare, really. Somebody with their dog that decides to put it on the lead. I'm trying to keep up a reasonable pace, but I'll have to find something that will tell me the speed I'm walking. It can only be about, I don't know, four miles, five miles an hour with that. Actually, I bet it turns out it's much slower. It'd be a bit embarrassing if I look on a tracker and see that it's one mile an hour and I feel like I'm flying along. Why is there so much sand here? I'm sure the beach is about two miles away still. <clears throat> Used to have a walking machine years back. But it got so boring just staring at a wall or a tablet and it dawned on me how stupid it is I'd put a tablet on and someone filmed a walk so I'd be walking to their walk rather than coming out and doing my own If you don't want me yapping on, you can easily put the footage into CapCut and just take the audio out. Change hands for a bit. I'm starting to ache. Got to find some sort of mount, I think. But for a 360, that's not a good idea. You have to wear it on top of your head like a Teletubby. And I love, there are a lot of nutters around. I don't really want to join them. That's weird. Electricity pile on there, little one. I suppose it's for these houses that are nestled beautifully amongst the trees. What a dream to live somewhere like that. That's a hell of a house down there. Beautiful.
I remember reaching this part from the other direction with my wife and kids, which felt like we'd gone for miles. It's not really. We should be moving around continuously during the day. That's what we're designed for. Amazing, just one jogger in all that time. Shame really, we have to use big metal bridges. We can't make them out of wood. So they blend in with the surroundings. Look at that view. Let's put you through the raining. Stunning. Hope you're enjoying the walk. Watch where you're walking. We're getting closer. I can hear the traffic getting louder. I'll do this on the bike next time, I think, when it ain't raining. I don't know what happened there, the camera just started itself. So I'm hoping I haven't been talking to a, a stick. Feels silly enough walking along with a camera on a stick. Let alone talking to it when it's not working, so fingers crossed. Unless it just shuts down after 30 minutes and restarts again. Imagine that, doing all this and then finding out you're talking to the stick. My phone in my pocket's talking to me, telling me I've done 34 minutes. I didn't know what distance. And I didn't realise that would happen. I've normally got my watch. But where the battery was dead, my son set my phone up for me. And he's done a great job. It's like having a personal assistant in my pocket.
How beautiful are these flowers? Look at them. The purple roots, or stems rather. Beautiful. I don't like this. Every time I stop, she tells me that I've stopped. As if I don't know. much further up here I don't think so I can see the road coming in from the right look just the monks there beautiful purple flowers Somebody moved the end of this path. Seems to be getting further away. Here's the end, I think. You recognise this weird fencing up here. Or well, maybe not. What I'll do in a minute, I'll shut down and end this one so we can keep it serene rather than getting back out onto the main road with how manic it is. So, I hope you enjoyed this first walking attempt. Well, we're not attempting to walk, I know how to walk, but vlogging out. And then, what I'll do, I'll turn you off, put you in my pocket. So if I left you on, it wouldn't be a pleasant sight. So, love and peace to everyone.